Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Talking Bola. This is your match preview for Malaysia against Bahrain after that disappointing defeat on Tuesday morning against Jordan 4 0. Malaysia must bounce back in this match in order to have any hope of staying in this tournament. I'm very, very excited for it, and I hope you are. As well, we're around 12 hours before the kickoff, so I've decided to talk to you what what my free thoughts are. I also let you know what Kim Pangon's uh, thoughts are in yesterday's press conference about the Malaysian way, about confidence and the style of football that they'll be playing, uh, and, and also a few words that uh, Sharu Sat had to add as well. But on your right hand side of the screen is the data from the previous matches that we played against Bahrain. Now, if you guys remember, around one and a half years ago, we actually played Bahrain in the qualifying, in order to qualify for this very tournament. And both of us did qualify. And Malaysia, that time, we scored the first goal. Sumare, around 53 minutes. We only held on the lead for around 3 minutes and then they conceded straight after. This was at Stadium National Bukit Jalil. Around 60,000 people came to watch on that day. Malaysia, uh, we did qualify at the end. So, you know, it's all well and good. But it's a team that we've played before, very recently. It's a team that we're familiar with as well. They've got a few good players. One, one that I can see right now, Abdullah Yusuf Halal, tall striker, one nine four meters. Uh, Matthew Davis has pointed that out in his press conference. Huh? the other dalam sidang media, the other Courtney, he is going to be one of our main threats for this. I can see his goal data. He plays for Madla, Boloslav, and in eighteen appearances, he has scored four goals and. He scored 11 goals for his country in his career as well. So this is going to be one of our main threats. And we're going to have to watch out. We're going to have to man mark very, very well as well. By the way, subscribe to this channel. Um, Talking Bola with Darren Sun. The live watch along will be there 15 minutes before the start of the game. So this, anyways, back to the match. I think this one is going to be one of our biggest threats. Um... It's whether or not how, how are we going to defend it. Are we going to play high line again? Now, uh, Coach Kim Pangon has said that the strategy that we made, yes, that high line that punished Malaysia against Jordan, it was also the same high line that we play against Syria. It was also that same high line that we play against Kyrgyzstan. That is the Malaysian way that he is talking about. The Malaysian way. Well, what do I think of this? I think there needs to be some adaptation to the Malaysian way, depending on teams. Kim Pangon is obviously very, very confident. He said that in his very press conference. He's ready to hit teams. He's ready to play the style of football and control and dominate the games. Now, I said it on the watch along four days ago or so. You have to look at the skill of the player, whether or not that is a realistic objective for Malaysia to be able to hold possession, play with possession. Because it's very easy to say, okay? Very easy to do it on the training field. When you're not in a match scenario, it's very, very different. Big stadium as well, not this stadium, but, you know, different atmosphere, pressure. Sharu Saad did talk about it in the press conference. Now, Kim Pangon has got to be calculative. With his strategy, I think, today. There are a lot of questions were thrown. Okay, look at the Prawanan Kahari Selasa. Banyak, banyak soalan tanya ke Jururate Malaysia. What was the idea of us playing the, the style of football? And Kim Pangon said he's ready to score goals. He wants to score four goals, five goals, six nil, three one, three two, four three. It's that high line that he wants to play. And I, and if he wants to play that line, if he's used to playing that high line, I have to, we all have to respect it. But ultimately, he's got to look at what happened that previous game. And he has, from what he said in the press conference, he has. They've recovered well. Now, whether or not 
there'll be adaptations to that world. We'll, we will only find out on the uh, on to, uh, in tonight's game. Also, with Saru Saad that said that it, the game against Jordan, a lot of players were struggling. Maybe the capacity of playing in a pressured environment against the very best of Asia is a totally different level. It's like going to the Olympics, you know. Playing the Malaysia Open badminton is different to playing when you're playing in Paris in a few months' time. Because you've got the atmosphere of everybody around you, everybody from different countries around you, you know, the fans, semua orang, you know, pelancong ke Qatar to play. It's very, very different atmosphere. And only an athlete, only a professional athlete can tell you that. And they, they did say, they, they, we are professionals. Kim Pangon said, we are professionals. And they'll be ready to damage uh, Bahrain. Now, I'm look really, really looking forward to this game. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to this game. It's going to be a very, very feisty match. Malaysia against uh, Bahrain. They will be fired up. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for a certainty. We were a different team. Now, I did say this against Jordan. We were a different team to when we last played them. Because this was Kim Pang, one of Kim Pangon's first ever matches. For the national team. He was only in the job for around. I think like two games before that. And even then we didn't play any friendly. So this was. Kim, that was Kim Pangon's first ever like entourage. As a coach for Malaysia. He will obviously have a lot of time to. Del delve into that already. He'll have a lot of gel gelling with the squad. And a lot of things that are looking for. A lot of things that are different. And he will have also got to have coached this team. Now, I was quite optimistic about the game against Jordan. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I think this game is going to be a draw. Malaysia will take a draw from this game. I reckon we'll take a draw from this game. Take one point. Have, get a bit of a confidence. And let's see what happens where we go from there. But one thing is for certain is, and I'm sure you guys know about this already, how Indonesia played. They fought for every ball, every every kick, every tackle. Now I want Malaysia to do that. Because Vietnam is a pot 3 team. Bahrain is a pot 3 team. Malaysia is a pot 4 team. Like it or not, Indonesia is a pot 4 team. I want people to use Indonesia as a benchmark for success. Indonesia gave it absolutely everything and now they've got themselves a fighting chance of staying in this tournament. They've got themselves a fighting chance and a lot of teams cannot say that to go to the round of 16. They just beat them Vietnam who got to the quarterfinal of the Asian Cup uh, five years ago. Can Malaysia use that as a motivation? Gunakan itu. Guna dalam motivasi kita to winning this game and I hope the players will be able to step up on that day they've got some time on the pitch now in a match scenario there'll be a lot of support in this game Saturday night 10 10 10 30 p.m kickoff prime time television it will be everywhere in Malaysia last time was a Monday night Tuesday morning okay orang mau tido this time ni kali you ada kalau korang ni anak anak boleh menonton. You punya keluarga, you punya anak apa apa semua boleh menonton perlawanan itu. Can Kim Panggon has can, can Kim Panggon deliver to these prospects? Now he said in the press conference he thanks the Malaysian support. Um, he knows that a lot of people will be watching, and even though they're halfway across the world at the moment, he will feel that support. And he's acknowledged the support. The ones that flown to Qatar. To the ones that are watching at home. And he's acknowledged it. And he'll use the fighting spirit. And come back stronger. Where have we heard that before? So. Malaysia are known for steel. Okay. Known for steel. Mentality. Strong mentality. What can Malaysia do with that? If you should go on that pitch. Perform like you perform, play your football like King Bangon said, play your football and 
enjoy the game. Okay, it's going to be a smaller stadium. You're not playing in a 40,000 seater. You're playing in a 10,000 seater. Hopefully, that'll bring some confidence. You know, less shining in the limelight. You know, relax the players, calm the players down. Uh, and I hope Kim Pangon can live up to the expectations that he's set in this press conference. And I'm very, very looking forward to see what will happen in this game. Right. Take care, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's match day. Malaysia against Bahrain. Okay. This is it. Ni kali kita. We are going to do it this time. Okay. Malaysia against Bahrain. Watch along tonight. Watch along. Link in the description below. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys tonight. Take care.